It's time for Don't Come Here, Stories of the Treasure Coast, where we talk about beautiful beaches, stunning sunrises, and unforgettable experiences. So, if you don't like that sort of thing, definitely don't come here. Now, here's your host, Joshua Flores. Thank you so much for joining us here at Don't Come Here, Stories of the Treasure Coast. Today's episode, we're gonna be talking all about sports and physical activities here in the Treasure Coast and all of the things that we have to offer to anybody that comes down to visit the Treasure Coast and wants to get a little bit physical, wants to go see a game, wants to go get sail- wants to go sailing, wants to participate in some things. This is a great area for you to come to be able to get a little bit active. Uh, my guests today are all about the sports and activities here in the Treasure Coast. My first guest here, uh, Rochelle Madrigal. You uh, oversee all of the day-to-day operations at the Jackie Robinson Training Complex. Yes. And uh, you guys are, have an all-inclusive uh, thing that you're working on. Uh, train, play, stay, repeat. You guys are working on an incredible program where basically people can come down and just have everything that they need right in one area is where they can uh, be able to do everything they want to do with the baseball right there at the Jackie Robinson Training Complex. Absolutely. Yep. We're a all-inclusive facility that's run by Major League Baseball and we took it over three years ago. Um, it was a former Dodger Spring Training home mm-hmm. and we've been able to put a lot of effort into revitalizing it and we get year-round sports action happening there. That's amazing. Um, I've actually had the pleasure of working out there at the complex a couple times with uh, the RBI base or the RBI softball women's world series and with uh, Jackie Robinson day with uh, we partner with the Mets for uh, Jackie Robinson day out there at the ballpark. Um, It's an amazing uh, training facility that you guys have out there. Uh, Great fields, all kinds of action going on out there. Wonderful area that you guys have there for everybody. Yeah, thank you. It's, it's a huge complex. We've got 80 acres. Uh, we do all kinds of sports, but of course our core is baseball and softball, the mm-hmm. ball sports. Um, but we do lacrosse and football and um, soccer and, and other activities too. But we've got a bunch of baseball fields. We now have a new indoor training complex we opened last July and a multi-purpose field as well. And like you mentioned, it's all inclusive. So we've got on-site housing with 89 villas, a dining room, everything. So um, one-stop shop, and we get we get teams from all over the place that want to come to the to the Treasure Coast, not just nationally but globally. That's amazing, uh, fantastic location that you guys have. Uh, my next guest is uh, Casey Blair. She is the uh, assistant vice president of the or assistant vice assistant general president. manager. Sorry, <laughs> assistant general manager of the uh, St. Lucie Mets <laughs> and the New York Mets spring training in Port St. Lucie. I actually uh, work with Casey on a regular basis. We're out there at the stadium. Uh, thank you so much for being on here on the show with me. Yeah, thanks for asking me. I'm pretty excited to, you know, start talking about getting people back at the complex again. So yeah, we uh, spring training right around the corner. Right we around got, the corner. Um, we've got actually as of the airing of this show, you know, spring training will be going on, and uh, we've got baseball action happening all year. You know, all kinds of stuff going on all year long between you know the spring training, the minor league baseball uh, programs with the Special Olympics and all kinds of stuff that they do out there at the stadium all year long at the great, great, great new uh, location. Not new location, but renovated mm-hmm. sta- renovated stadium. Yeah, we just had the um, very large renovation a couple years ago. Uh, most people haven't even had the chance to see it yet. Right. So we're really excited to get everybody full capacity back in to get to see all of the new upgrades at the stadium. Um, it really is a state-of-the-art complex, and it's a county facility. The Mets rent it, so, you know, in our... Our partnership, we have just made it a complex that's, um, I mean, it's amazing. So. Absolutely. And uh, my next guest, Alan Jacksonson, he it has a uh, diverse background between sports, coaching, teaching, um, sales and marketing. You've done it all, and you turned that into uh, love, and you develop, you know, you have love of sailing, and you've turned that into a program with the, um, as a director of the U.S. Sailing Center in Martin County. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's, it's an exciting place. Absolutely. Uh, I, you know, looking at the website, I went online to uh, research, you know, what it is that you do. Uh, all inclusive, of whether it comes to kids, adults, teens, families, sailing programs, everything that you guys offer for uh, anybody that could be interested in wanting to, you know, spend time out on the water, boating, sailing, you guys offer it all. 
Yeah, without a doubt. And uh, so you got all the sports. I love that. Right. That's all inclusive. Jackie Rom sounds really, really cool. You don't have sailing because right. you're because you're on land. So right. we do need water. Right. We do need wind. And there's nothing better than the sunshine that we have in South Florida to add to it. Um, you know, we've got beautiful tropical waters, uh, you know, in the Indian River Lagoon. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I have some stories to tell about, you know, how people have come in and just been in absolute awe of it. These are people from all over the world who come in and, and just are just in awe of what is in in Treasure Coast uh, here through uh, Jensen Beach. And that's what we're all about. We're all about yeah. telling those stories of the Treasure Coast and um, you know, any stories that you have, we're all, we're all ears. Yeah. Um, you know, that is one thing for sure here on the Treasure Coast, we are right there on the coast. So we've got plenty of waterways. We've got plenty of area for people to sail, different regattas, boat shows, fishing, mm -hmm. everything that you would wanna do on the water. But um, the U.S. Sailing Center is definitely a place where you wanna go if you are an amateur, or even if you have a little bit of uh, knowledge, but they can go ahead and show you how to do everything and be safe about it and really experience a wonderful time out there on the water. Yeah, without a doubt, it's all ages, all mm -hmm. levels, beginner to advanced. Um, we uh, we run an incredible summer camp that we get uh, families from all over the country who come down for a staycation kind of thing, mm -hmm. uh, uh, where mom and dad go uh, do their thing, or grandma and grandpa go do their thing, while the kids uh, come and get one of the best camp experiences in the nation. That's fantastic that you guys offer that. And even, you know, you even do have the programs where if mom and dad want to do the sailing with their kids, you have full family programs oh, yeah. as well. Oh, yeah. It's very popular. Family learn to sail. That's no awesome. Bet, it, what, a, what a fantastic way for a family to bond. Absolutely. And now, um, you know, that is one of the wonderful things about being here on the Treasure Coast is there are so many activities, so many sports so much uh, things that you can do, whether you want to go and be a spectator or you want to actually be actively involved. Um, schools all over the country come down for um, the Jackie Robinson Training Complex and for the uh, the Mets uh, Training Complex. You know, we have um, we have college teams that come down and play before spring training at the stadium. You guys have the uh, you guys host the RBI Softball World Series. You guys host uh, many uh, different youth programs with baseball and softball and all obviously all different kinds of sports i didn't even know that you guys hosted lacrosse and football and all that stuff absolutely we do a little bit of everything uh, we do a really big amateur spring training program so on any given year we bring about a hundred high school or college teams in baseball mostly some softball teams as well um, like i said from around the country and into canada and some other countries so they'll be in you know late february through uh middle of april and they come and do seven ten days of training before their season starts and like you said this is the place to be so they're always right. planning family vacations <laughs> right. around it and the parents and the siblings get to come and go to the beach five miles down the road so they love it absolutely and mm -hmm. you know they're it's amazing how much there is, you know, not just with sports, but just in general to be able to do here in the Treasure Coast. But, you know, having the opportunity to be able to see some of your favorite teams, whether it be the Mets or, you know, the Mets host all kinds of teams from all over the world here or all over the country right here in uh, Port St. Lucie on the Treasure Coast for uh, the spring training and even with the minor league baseball. Yeah, yeah, we have... Um I mean, generally, you know, the Cardinals, the Marlins, the Astros, and the Nationals are right down the road. So, um, you know, even our minor league season and our spring training season, we play them a lot. Mm -hmm. So, um, and those are some very popular teams. So if we don't have a stadium full of Mets fans, <laughs> when we play the Cardinals, you know we're going to have a stadium full of Blue Cardinals fans, unfortunately. <laughs> <Yeah>. But, uh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, it's great to see um, people travel for spring training, especially from all over the country. I mean, right. all the snowbirds come down and are here to see the games, mm -hmm. um, you know, and then a lot of them stay for at least part of the minor league season as well. So then they'll get to see these kids that are 18, 19 year, years old that they're going to see in a few years in the majors. Right. So, you know, they have the opportunity to see both the big name players and the up and comers. And I mean, there's nothing better than going to play their games at Jackie Robinson, coming down the next day to come to a game at the so, Met Stadium and then going to the beach. Right. So going to learn going how to sail. sail. Yeah, sail. Taking right. the team for a bonding trip to yeah. learn how to sail. I mean, yeah. it's, you know, 
there's everything. Absolutely. I'm sure Casey sees a lot what I see. <laughs> you know, when you get these teams that are coming in every year, these groups that come back every year because they love this place, mm -hmm. they end up actually want to relocate here. You know, I know a lot of Mets fans, I'm mm -hmm. sure, buy houses in the area <laughs> and such, and then they're having their family come visit because they just end up falling in love with the area. So oh, absolutely. It's, it's definitely and it's it's definitely such a welcoming area like we really do we really do welcome uh families from all over the world to be able to come down spend time down here enjoy all of the things that we have to offer and then you know if you go back to your uh lives and you know look forward to coming back and seeing us again next year it's it's a wonderful open welcoming experience welcoming area for you to be able to come down to and really spend time here in the treasure coast um you know and speaking of all over the world you know last year we hosted the uh tokyo olympics baseball trials yeah, the there at the stadium, the prelims. Yeah. Uh, that was very cool. We definitely had a, an interesting experience because we've never experienced some of these teams, um, especially from the Latin community. Like, they're so passionate. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, Mets fans are passionate too, don't right. get me wrong, but <laughs> it's like a whole nother level. And it was just amazing to get to experience how they celebrate the sport of baseball. And Absolutely. It, and then it was even, you know, awesome to be able to see those teams go on, you know, to the Olympics. Yeah. So I mean we had we had teams from, you know, from Canada, from Cuba, from Puerto Rico, from the Dominican Republic, all over the world, uh, there at the uh stadium and, you know, getting to host them for the Olympics was a, a major honor. It was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It was um definitely a well, hopefully not a once in a lifetime experience. Right. We hope they come back. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, again, it's just this area. You wouldn't think like I'm from Kentucky originally. I'd never heard of Port St. Lucie <laughs> or of the Treasure Coast before I moved down here. Right on. Um, but it's I mean, it's amazing how many things are down here and you would never you know, you would never realize that the Treasure Coast has this many things to do. Oh, so. without a doubt. Without a doubt, I mean, especially, um, you know, same kind of thing. I'm originally from Ohio myself, and if it hadn't been for family down here, like I tell people that I live in the Jensen Beach and I live in the Treasure Coast, and a lot of people are like, where's that? And I'm like, oh, you got to look it up. It's We're such a hidden gem, but so many people are finding out about us now, mm -hmm. and it's become such a wonderful area for people to be able to get away. And, you know, Alan, you know, you guys with the, uh, with the sailing, you are a 501c3 yes we are company yep. so you're not for profit but you are you know you, you have these programs for the kids and everything and for families to do and you are one of the few locations in the country that are a uh, u.s sailing center correct uh, yeah we're actually one of two in the nation in or two, one of okay. three there's two others uh there's miami and san, san diego uh, who are actually carry the name and logo of U.S. Sailing, which is the national governing body of the sport. Uh, but uh, so what we really do is a whole lot for our local community. But mm -hmm. the uh, the benefit of the way that we're set up is we are just absolutely open to the tourism to come into town. Uh, you were speaking of teams coming in. We have colleges and high schools from around the country that. Uh, you know, they can't sail in the winter, so they come on down and get some training, uh, you know, down here in the winter time. Uh, we run uh, and host many of big regattas that uh, bring people from all over the nation uh, in, uh, in even internationally coming right. in to uh, compete. So it's it's really it's the gem. You use the word a gem. Uh, the Sailing Center is truly a gem of the Treasure Coast, and we're just so blessed to have the Treasure Coast because the Treasure Coast is the real, that's, that's the jewel of Florida. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, and the Treasure Coast is aptly named, you know, with the, uh, with the discovery of the hidden treasure, the sunk, sunken treasures here and everything like that. But there really are so many treasures here that we have to offer people. Um, and you were talking about your programs that you do to help the local community and all of you do, you know, local community outreach programs and stuff like that. And it's, you know, that is one of the most amazing things is there are so many people and so many community projects in the area that like to give back to the community. Um, what are some of the programs that you guys do other than? Uh, oh, absolutely. So we serve uh, anytime. It all takes is someone to reach out and we're, we're, we're on it. But uh, we serve the uh, um, uh, Gold Star families and uh, through a, a local uh, nonprofit that brings 
kids from all over the country in. We get them out on sailboats. Uh, we uh, serve foster care children uh, through other programs within the community. We serve uh, underprivileged, those who can't afford it. Uh, we give them every opportunity to be out and learn to sail. Uh, we, you know, the um, autistic, and we have a program for uh, autism intellectually uh, dis, uh, disabled students. And what's really exciting about that is we're actually teaching them to sail. Right. We've tapped into Special Olympics, and we're going to be hosting a Special Olympics uh, uh, program right there uh, at the center. So yeah, some good stuff that uh, that reaches deep into the community. Mm -hmm. But you know, people from outside get to come in and really enjoy it. Too. Right. Uh, we're a right. membership based uh, program, which is, I don't, don't always like to compare it to a boat club mm -hmm. uh, because of the way that we are a 501c3 and reach deep into the community. But that membership is what gives people access to the water, to the boats. It's extremely affordable. Uh, and we also have daily memberships. So daily membership, anyone, or even, uh, you know, two week memberships. So anyone who wants to come into town, uh, we get plenty of sailors from around the world who just say, hey, yeah, I got, I got it. You know, the way to see Jensen Beach, the way to see the Treasure Coast is from the water. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's what we would say. A pilot right. would say from the air. Right, right, right. <laughs> A right. landlubber is going to say from the ground. <laughs> right, right, uh, right. But we're going to say from the water. So that's come right. on out and get on a boat. And there's lots of ways to do it. We'll give sailboat rides. We'll give lessons. We'll give you a boat. There you go. Something really cool. That's it's amazing that you are. You have so many programs that you uh, work with and so many things that you uh, do for the local community and then that you offer so much for people that, you know, aren't from the area. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Come on down. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And, uh, you know, with the Mets, you know, we do a lot of stuff with the, uh, with the Special Olympics as well. We do a lot of uh, outreach programs for the local community. Yeah, we um, a year or every year we do um, a spring training clinic with the local Special Olympics. So we bring 100 athletes up um, and they get to do a whole training clinic with the major league team, um, which is always very, very cool. Um, and then this past year, actually, we were able to be the host site for the South Florida Regional Softball Tournament for Special Olympics. So um, those teams came up all the way from Miami up to here just to have their tournament. Um, and uh, they're going to be hosting, I believe, the next next year or this year, Special Olympics Florida is hosting the national competition. Oh wow! So a lot of our athletes that come to our clinics and stuff, um, you know, we support them up into that, and it's always awesome to to see them. And um, I know some of our major league players, which I won't mention, right. uh, they are very involved as well, and they continue to follow the athletes that come um, that they meet at the clinic. Uh, but yeah, we do. I mean, Special Olympics, I know those athletes, they love any new opportunity they can get. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So. Yeah, no. And they are some of the most loving, um, wholesome, like humble athletes that I've ever met. Like they are fantastic to, to work with and be around. Um, I was actually the PA announcer for the event that we had with the softball uh, th there at the stadium. That was such an ex amazing experience. And to find out that they're going to be hosting... Uh, the Nationals here in Florida, that's going to be really cool. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see that. I mean, if, if they need a PA announcer, you know, you just let me know. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, out at the Jackie Robinson Training Complex, I know you guys do a lot for uh, a lot for youth and a lot of uh, programs as well. Um, any uh, any special programs that you want to discuss or anything like that? Or Yeah, I mean, the, the vision behind Major League Baseball taking over the facility was really to make it a hub for all of the – the commitment that MLB has um, established for youth programming across the globe. So it's really designed to um, provide programming for underserved populations and really designed around growing the game at the youth level mm -hmm. and exposing kids to the sport. Um, it's really important on both the baseball and softball side, but also supporting these kids that may become um, from economically disadvantaged areas and diverse populations to really give them an opportunity to have the same opportunity somebody who's more fortunate right. has had to not only take an interest in the sport, but also develop their skills and kind of follow the pipeline and have an opportunity to compete if they so choose at a higher level. So MLB, you know, is pretty heavy with programming in the summer at our facility. There's... Um, some kind of key programs that um, are more notable, like the Hank Aaron Invitational Breakthrough Series, and like you mentioned, the RBI World Series, now held right here in Vero Beach. 
on the Treasure Coast. So um, it's been really great to be able to bring all those programs to this one hub. Right. Um, yeah. And we keep adding to the slate. So <laughs> it's been it's been really unique. And we also support the local RBI program. They play at our facility, which has been been great to to be able to provide them kind of upgraded facilities to play at. Oh, absolutely, without a doubt. And I know you guys are doing. Um, you guys are constantly in the process of doing more renovations to the uh, to the uh, training complex, and you know, constantly growing, constantly taking on more and more and more and more anything that you can take on to help out anybody that's you know interested in sports in any kind. Yeah, it's been great. You know, MLB made a, a large commitment to make this facility world class, and um, in partnership with Indian River County here on the Treasure Coast. So, um, with the county support and MLB, we've been able to to do a lot in just three years, and we've got a lot of other projects underway. Um, I mentioned earlier we built a new indoor training complex over the last year that opened in July called Building Forty Two, wow. paying homage to our namesake Jackie Robinson. That's right. uh, so that's a thirty eight thousand square foot facility with an indoor. Um, half training field, uh, turf field, and four new batting cages and some meeting rooms. So, so that's been a huge asset to add to this area. Um, and we're, you know, we're continuing to make some uh, improvements to Holman Stadium. We renovated the field uh, in 2019, but now we're building a new press box, renovating restrooms. Um, actually, going to be renovating our our, rest, our re uh, dugouts starting on Monday, um, and we're also renovating our on-site housing that I mentioned earlier. Yeah. So. Yep, a lot of lot of projects in the in the <laughs> works right. to uh, continue to improve. That's amazing. You guys uh, are definitely you know it. So much love that we all have here for you know our area and for what it is that we do. You know, with the renovation with the uh, the Met Stadium and the renovation you guys are doing out at the complex, and you guys are constantly uh, growing. We just and finished a couple expansions. Then <laughs> there you go, yeah. more stuff going on. Yeah. Like it's. It's just amazing how much love that you guys have for what it is that you do. But um, aside from baseball or sailing, you know, there is a lot of stuff here in the local area to do. What kind of stuff do you guys like to do on your spare time? Because I know that when you, I know that when you leave the training complex, you're not like, let me go play baseball. I know that, like, you know what I mean? Like, you, let me get away and let me do something. What do you guys like to do here in the Treasure Coast when? Uh, you know, you're not doing baseball. Is there ever a time we're not there? <laughs> um, I'm trying yeah. to think. Um, so for me, I have two five-year-old twins, so they keep me running, and right. um, they're in their own baseball now in Little League locally, so uh, we've got that a couple nights a week. They play basketball there locally, so we're a sports family, and right. so we spend a lot of time doing that, but um, we also love going to the beach. You know, the okay. kids love running around. I mean, we're five miles from the beach, so right. um, you can't beat it. It's just being able to have the sunshine 365 when you're from Massachusetts like me <laughs> is, is a gold mine. Oh, without mm -hmm. a doubt. And we do have some of the most beautiful beaches here in the Treasure Coast. We really do. Uh, what about you, Casey? When you, when you are not involved in, you know, totally... Yeah, again, Go like Rochelle said, right. uh, when am I not at the stadium? But right. um, no, I, my friends and I actually, we um, enjoy doing the tri trivia at breweries. So we go to a lot of the local breweries, Selfish, um, the, the uh, winery, uh, Summer Crush, mm -hmm. um, and uh, Hop Life. We've been to Walking Tree, so we make the rounds, but we enjoy doing trivia and brewery nights. So. Yeah. We actually, we actually spoke to a few people from uh, some of the breweries on one of our previous episodes and, you know, talking about the Wine and Ale Trail mm -hmm. and, you know, yeah, doing doing trivia nights, doing, uh, you know, karaoke nights, doing all kinds of stuff in any of the local breweries or any of the other lo uh, the local places that you can go. There's a lot to do in the area. What about you, Alan? What kind of... Well... When so, you're on land, when yeah. you're on land, what do you like to do? Well, so first of all, I did race uh, a couple of boys here, uh, and we were all wrapped up in every sport you could possibly be wrapped up in, uh, right. including lacrosse and hockey, <laughs> which Florida was not known for. No. Um, and uh, But the thing about Florida sports, too, is the competitive level at the youth level is incredible. I mean, we send a lot of... Uh, youth kids to big time sports, big time colleges. Uh, both my sons uh, played collegiately. Well, one played hockey collegiately, the other one played lacrosse collegiately. Oh, wow. Uh, as a matter of fact, had two national championships with uh, Syracuse. So uh, Florida kid, uh, able to make it. But So obviously I was totally wrapped up in that sports world and everything else that came around it. Right. Um, a few years back, but uh, love fishing. The fishing in South Florida, it's just, it's the best. So it's more on the water. 
still enjoy the beaches, never gets old. Oh, yeah. And the dining in South Florida now, uh, it's just some of the best. That is absolutely true. Like, we do have some of the most amazing restaurants in the area and, um, you know, places that you never run out of things to do here in the Treasure Coast, whether it be sports or whether it be trivia or whether it be eating or going to the beach or whatever. There's, there's never not something to do. Here in the Treasure Coast, even in, in, in a quiet, sleepy town like Jensen Beach, where I live right now, like there's so much to do and like there's so much to do all throughout the Treasure Coast. Yeah. So um, now you had said that you have tons of stories about people that have come in. I'm going to put you on the spot now. You you threw it out there. So you said you have tons of stories about well, people that have come in and they've just been in awe with your uh, with what it is that you guys do. I would love to hear some of the well, stories. Well, so I'll, I'll hit you with the first one that comes to my mind. Okay. So uh, we hosted uh, called the Bite C2 uh, North American and Caribbean Championship. Oh, wow. Uh, a few years back. So naturally, there were um, uh, people from all over the, all over the country mm -hmm. and the Caribbean nations. So uh, funny thing is, is one of the sailors... Um, lost their tiller bar. Now, a tiller bar is uh, an extension that you use to steer uh, steer a boat. And he lost it fairly close to shore. And, um, but, you know, Indian River Lagoon is, is, you know, it's beautiful water, but it's not something that, it's not like Caribbean water where you go down and you see 20 or 30 feet deep. Right. So I saw all these kids in the water and feet sticking up trying to find this tiller bar. <laughs> I mean, because they're not cheap. Right. I mean, they're not cheap at all. So all these kids are out there digging, and like he had his whole team out there looking. Well, sure enough, they found it. Okay, but as the coach was coming on shore, I just started dialoguing with him, and he says to me, he says, "You know, I've been all over the world. We've sailed everywhere, and this is my favorite place to sail." That's amazing. And um, and, and my first reaction was like, "Yeah, thanks, coach. You're kind of <laughs> blowing some smoke my way." Right. <laughs> you know, but seriously started putting some of the pieces together and I even asked him I said I even kind of pushed back on him because yeah okay coach right I, I mean I would go sail in the Caribbean in a heartbeat give me the give me a chance to go down there that's where I want to go sailing and uh, but it was it's really the the trapped water that we have there in the Indian River Lagoon mm -hmm. uh, the fact that it's fairly flat we don't have to deal with uh, uh, crazy currents we don't have to dr uh, deal with uh, crazy wave action that, that exists elsewhere. We also have, so we have all those benefits similar to some lake sailing, uh, and yet we don't have to deal with the shiftiness of lake, lake winds. We have the, the, the breeze coming right over Hutchinson Island. It's not more than, uh, it's not even a quarter mile deep Hutchinson Island out there. So right. we get those ocean breezes coming in and it, it's just, people know us for the winds and the breezes that we get. So it's, it's, it's good sailing without being, you know, shut right. down, overwhelmed. Uh, waters are, and the safety of the water area too. So when you're trying to put um, youth out there in competitive situations, uh, shoot, if you're sailing, you know, offshore, you've got to worry about <laughs> losing people offshore. Right. Uh, go into Tampa Bay. It's awfully big bay, get down in uh, Biscayne Bay. It's a, you know, there are places where uh, it just, we might think, wow, that's a beautiful spot to be, but the safety uh, and the containment of where we sail. This coach from a Caribbean nation who's, who's coached all over the world said, this is, this is his favorite this, spot. This is his favorite spot. That's amazing. Like it, and I mean, it goes to show, you know, the safety as well as the beauty, as well as the location. Like there's just so much, you know, it's like the perfect combination of things that, you know, make what it is that you do so perfect for this area. Yeah. And the affordability of, of the Treasure Coast is, is just blows away going to other right. places in South Florida or other places even in the country. That is true. Yeah. Now, Alan, uh, you know, thank you so much for the story. Now, if you had to tell our guests that are watching here or listening at home uh, anything about any upcoming events that you guys have going on or anything that, uh, you know, your social media pages or your website, if they wanted to look you guys up so that way they could plan a trip down here, what would you uh, let our guests know yeah. about? Yeah, well, thanks. So um, our website uh, is ussscmc.org, uh, U.S. Sailing Center, Martin County. 
So USSCMC.org, uh, we're always putting stuff on. But some of the, I would say some of the highlights for people, like maybe from out of town that might get a real kick out of it. First of all, always come go and just go take some lessons and some sailing and get on a boat. But we also uh, network with the YMCA. Uh, and the YMCA, we put on a cardboard box regatta. There is nothing more fun than go grab a big old freezer box and make a boat out of it and get on the water for the day. So uh, that takes place in August. Uh, it's a really neat event. And then for anyone from outside who likes some of those mission-based things that we were talking about, uh, I have opportunities to just put people on the water and connect them with, with kids and make a, you know, make a little difference while you're in town. That's have awesome. some fun and uh, you know, sh share it. So for those who are outside and already love the sport, Share your love of sailing uh, somewhere else. Come to Florida. It's beautiful sailing. That's right. Thank you so yeah. much, Alan. Uh, Casey, uh, anything that you'd like to let our guests know about that are uh, watching or listening at home? Anything uh, that's coming up at the stadium or any of the uh, social media pages or anything you'd like to let them know about? Yes. Yeah, so um, as far as our website and social, we're super easy. Um, it's St. Lucy Mets, stlucymets.com. All of our um, social media handles are at St. Lucy Mets. So everything's the same. Um, you know, our minor league season starts in April and we go until mid-September mm -hmm. um, and they are adding back in playoffs again. So we'll oh, have even, okay. potentially even a longer season. Um, so that goes all year long and we play, you know, six days in a row most times. Um, and we also have a couple car shows, some um, the chili cook off for Boys and Girls Club is will be at the stadium this year. So there's always events going on at the stadium, but everything is on our website. It's uh, stlucymets.com. Awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, Rochelle, Jackie Robinson Training Complex, what would you like to let our uh, listeners know about what you guys have going on in the future or any of your social media pages? Yeah, well, uh, in terms of social, website's easy, JackieRobinsonTrainingComplex.com, and at JRTC42 is our handle. Okay. Uh, so you can follow us on any of those channels. But, um, yeah, exciting, kind of unique events coming up. We actually um, have historically um, held training camps for minor league umpires, and we'll be having a um, about a 10-day training course coming up in early February um, with the minor league baseball umpires now being under major league baseball. It's a great um, program now that they've kind of reinvented. Mm -hmm. So they'll be uh, at our complex for, for that stretch. And then uh, we got a big President's Day tournament. So we bring in about 60 teams uh, from around the country. They they love getting out of the, the north in the in the February time period. So, I bet. so that'll be a big event for us. And um, I do want to note too, uh, April 15th is always Jackie Robinson Day, celebrating when Jackie broke the color barrier. And this is the 75th anniversary this year. So um, hopefully more to come on what we'll be doing at the at the facility to celebrate that big milestone. Big celebration, big milestone mm -hmm. there. That's that's amazing. Uh, thank you once again for coming out and Absolutely. being here on the show with us. Um, to everyone at, everyone here at the Treasure, uh, Treasure Coast, don't come here, Stories of the Treasure Coast, to everyone at home, thank you all uh, for listening here and watching us on YouTube, listening on your favorite uh, podcast outlets. We really appreciate all of you. Uh, but from all of us here to everyone at home, if you don't like sports, if you don't, if, if you don't enjoy being outside, professional sports, if you don't enjoy being active, then by all means, don't come here.